Give players any sandbox game with physics and it'll only be a matter of time until they make Beyblades. Let them rip. Just don't stand too close to them. Hi, my name is Dom and welcome back to Top Gaming Plays. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and submit your clips using the link in the description. But let's get into it. So here's a tip for those exploring ice caves. There's hidden rooms containing loot. If you find a wall with a crack in it, it means it's breakable. On day one, Pro Noob Combo built a car and everybody's minds were blown. By the end of day two, this is where we were at. A steerable car with detached thrusters for left and right turning. With front and back bumpers, the car can be used to destroy and farm materials around the map as you drive. Just watch out for the local wildlife. Here's a quick guide on how to create the steering section of the car. This might be useful for other builds you're looking to make. As the thrusters are their own build slotted into the car, you can operate the thrusters separately. Like SK has built an impressive sky base with four directional steering. He can even lower it using the thrusters on top. Each dynamic panel has its own set of thrusters because the five dynamic foundations aren't actually connected. They're sat on top of a frame. If each dynamic platform was connected, flipping a switch would power all 10 thrusters and the build wouldn't work. Genius. If you're coming from Minecraft, you'll appreciate a good storage room. Travelling from your base out to different biomes or a distant cave can be tedious. That's why you need a monorail. Well, it's more of a Shelbyville idea, really. And when you're ready to return, building it is actually super simple. Place a dynamic foundation on top of a single floor track. Secure in place by using three small wheels either side of the rail. Now when you add power, the platform stays glued to the track. Hexagon on YouTube has built a maglev train. It's a similar system using wheels to hook itself on the track, but this has added benefits. The two balloons remove some of the friction from gravity, meaning it should technically travel faster than the monorail. Version 2 of the maglev also gives you the option to return to base.
So here's a build that I actually invented that went pretty viral. It's a single platform steerable aircraft with great handling. Here's how I created the separate left and right thrusters. This concept of destroying the bottom foundation to create separate vehicle parts is key to any advanced vehicles in LEGO Fortnite. Just look how good the handling is. Here's a trick for those looking to farm mats, especially in the early game. Build a staircase near the materials and destroy it. It will break any nearby materials and you also get the two wood back that you spent on the staircase. If you've got flex wood, you can push a dynamic platform along the ground to do the same thing. And if you don't have flex wood, you can stack foundations. Breaking the bottom layer will cause the foundations to now float. And if you prefer expensive but better looking builds, here's a plane I also made. It has a unique wing engine design that allows it to turn. From the cockpit you have three separate switches to control the plane, right to go left and left to go right. Here's the housing I use to create the wing engines. The floor pieces are important to stop the thrusters from flying off. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.